The biggest shift for me with triathlon really was looking around and not really seeing people that look like me in the sport. So I did think, oh, that would be awesome if one day there was a pro black woman on the start line and that would be even cooler if it was me. And I'm like, well, if I ever want to give myself a shot at that, I need to hire a professional coach and I really need to learn how to train at an elite level. And that's when my focus shift from just showing up at races, having fun, getting a finisher's medal to, I want to eventually qualify for my pro card. How high in this sport can I eventually get? I don't recall if she initially told me she was going to do a triathlon. But what I do remember, what sticks out in my mind, is that when she told me what lower percentage it was of African Americans involved in the triathlon, and then she told me that there was, historically, there was never a black professional triathlete. My life took a pretty drastic change in 2013. Um, the relationship that I was in, I thought my life was going in one direction and it didn't. When that relationship ended, I was really depressed and I didn't want to get out of bed, I didn't want to do anything. I knew that wasn't healthy and I'm like, okay, I need something to take my mind off of this, something else that I can stress about. And then the idea of trying triathlon came into my mind. That sudden shift in trying something new was exciting and intriguing and it got me out of the house again and it was just really something to look forward to. All these new things that I wasn't familiar with. So at the time, I'm like, this is just really hard. I was just learning absolutely everything. I wasn't familiar with nutrition and how to fuel properly for a race. So I was really a student of the game at the time. I love the fact that with triathlon, the more I put into it, the more I got out of it. Other areas of my life that I didn't have control over, I felt like triathlon gave me that control. These races are just really hard. Like people who aren't even racing at the pro level who are in the amateur ranks are really, really good. I knew qualifying for my pro card wasn't a given. It wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. I was gonna have to have a perfect day and everything was gonna have to go right. And so I use that in going into all of my workouts. I'm like, okay, if I nail this workout, it's gonna bring me one step closer and possibly putting myself in the right position again, my pro card. I was doing this day in, day out, twice a day, every day, large volume on the weekends, go out for 50, 60 plus rides with a group, and then Sundays I would do a long run, and occasionally going to the pool, and you know, maybe going for a three mile run, to all of a sudden putting this huge volume, it was exhausting, but it felt really worth it. We had planned out, like, you know, 2019, I was gonna fly to Texas, it was a qualifier race, and yeah, I just, I thought I had a shot there. The day of Ironman 70.3 Texas, I remember putting on my wetsuit, remember jumping in the water and it being really cold and getting out. And when I got on the bike course, I remember going out um, pretty fast. And then I was going over 25 miles per hour. And then that's all I remember of that day until hours later when I woke up in the emergency room and had a lot of doctors standing over me. Me and my wife, we happened to be in Morocco at the time, and uh, we were monitoring the race. In fact, um, my, my wife somehow had misread the, the tracking device, and we thought she had completed it when I got this call. And the call was that Sika had been in a terrible bike accident. I was alone and scared, and when I finally understood that I had been in a cycling accident in the middle of the race, I immediately thought, just, I'm done with triathlon, this isn't worth it. I could have died, and my life will never be the same. Of course, in any endeavor, there's gonna be peaks and valleys. I was of the mindset that the journey was over, you know, 
And if she said that was the end of it for me, I'm more than happy with that. I'm more than pleased with that. And that, and in fact, she, she did look up at me and said, okay, I guess it's over, right? Honestly, just the second day that I was at my parents' house, my dad did come into the room and he asked me. If this accident is the price you have to pay to achieve your goal, would you be willing to pay that price? Like, no, didn't even register in my brain. It was just, yes, like, I would still do this. And that was the moment that I decided, okay, I'm gonna come back, I'm not done yet. And I'm not done with the sport yet. When the accident took place, the letters of support that she received, like little girls saying, to go feel better and come back to triathlon and stuff. And I'm like, okay, like representation matters. Like this is important, what I'm doing. That was another aspect. It wasn't just the question that I asked her. It was also, she felt that the people that she would let down if she didn't succeed. Then in 2021, it looked like things started opening up a little bit again, and I eyed a race that I was supposed to do in 2020, Challenge Cancun, and I set my sights on the half Ironman in Cancun, Mexico. It was the hottest race I have ever done in my life, but I was really grateful for that. When people were falling apart on the run, I was moving closer to the front, and yeah, I crossed the finish line. I didn't have a clue what place I was in because people who started further back than me could have been faster than me, and so we just kind of sat around and waited, and then I found out that I was a third amateur and I qualified for my pro card. got to realize that a lot of times when when you these athletic goals are achieved and you get older and you're no longer doing them then you got to look to the next phase of your life so I hope that this transition will be smooth for her diversity in the sport is still super important to me any way that I can give back I want to be in a position to do that I want people to remember me as somebody that despite the barriers and the accident and a pandemic and things that had gotten in my way that I just kept pushing forward.